In this video, I will show you how to VLOOKUP from two different tables in an Excel worksheet. Take a look at this data here. We have the weekly sales report of a particular company that deals with different chocolate brands across the country. In the first column, we have the name of the sales rep. Second column has the product IDs. A number of units are in the third column. Now these are the two things which we want to find out. First one is the amount of sales done by each sales rep. Then the total amount of sales done. To find the amount of sales done by each sales rep, we have to multiply the number of units sold with the unit price of that product. But the unit price of these products are in two different tables. See the two tables here. First table has four columns. First column contains product ID. Second column contains product name. Company name is in the third column. And unit price in the fourth column. Second table has three columns. Product ID in the first column product name in the second column, unit price in the third column. Now back to the sales report. See this product ID here, CDB002. Details of this particular product ID can be found in the first table here. CDB002, unit price is 35. Second product ID, MDZ001, unit price is 55. Now the third product ID, MAS003. MAS003 is present in the second table. Unit price is 73. Now using these product IDs, we have to extract the unit prices from these two tables. Now to extract the unit price of this particular product ID, CDB002, I will create a VLOOKUP formula here. Equal VLOOKUP Open parenthesis First argument lookup value Product ID is the lookup value comma second argument table array select the first table f4 to log the references comma third argument column index number unit price is in the fourth column of the table column index number is 4 comma false for an exact match close parenthesis end and we have the unit price of this product id cdb002 35 Let's copy this formula into the cells below. MDZ001, 55. And with this third record, VLOOKUP formula returned a not available error. The reason is, this particular product ID, MAS003. Details related to this product ID cannot be found in the first table. To extract the unit price corresponding to this product ID, we have to look up into the second table. That means a single VLOOKUP function is not enough for our purpose. To look up into two different tables, we need to use VLOOKUP two times. Now let's see how to combine two VLOOKUP formulas for our requirement. Let me delete these formulas. In the formula bar, equal if error function. Let me tell you why if error function. If error function is designed to trap errors returned by formulas. If error function has two arguments. First one is value, second one is value if error. The formula which is supposed to produce an error will be used as the first argument of the if error function. If the formula produces an error, if error function will return the custom value specified as the second argument. In this case, we will use VLOOKUP function as the first and second arguments of if error function. Once again, equal if error function open parenthesis first argument value here we will use the vlookup formula to look up into the first table vlookup open parenthesis lookup value product ID is the lookup value comma second argument table array select the first table f4 to log the references comma third argument column index number unit price is in the fourth column 4 comma false for an exact match close parenthesis comma, second argument value for error. Now the VLOOKUP formula to look up into the second table. VLOOKUP, lookup value, product ID is the lookup value, comma, table array, select the second table, F4 to log the references, comma, column index number, unit price is in the third column, 3, comma, false for an exact match, Close parenthesis, once again close parenthesis, and run. Copy the formula into the cells below.
to multiply units with price equal units multiplied by price and double click on the excel fill handle to copy the formula into the cells below now let's cross check these values mdz001 unit price is 55 mass 002 85 FSP001 unit price is 27. Now let's modify some values. 63. See the unit price in the sales report updated for that change. Mouse 002 will make it 95. For the total amount, I will tickle enter.